What's up, everybody? It's JR. I want to go over how to build a log manifold for your LS engine today. I got, well, I had two of the pets congregating on the couch. I'm sick. It's cold. We're staying inside today. So, <clears throat> I did want to show you guys why I'm scrapping the uh, whole manifold that I was building idea and I'm going to build this log manifold instead now all my parts aren't here and try to bear with me my voice is terrible but I'll show you what I do have right now I have it laid out pretty much the way it goes um, for me the big challenge was figuring out what all this stuff is called like there's technical names you know they're not just little pipes right <clears throat> so, these are called weld L's, W-E-L-D, and then E-L. Some people call them butt welds, but until I started looking for weld L's, I, weld L's, I had a really hard time finding what I was looking for. I'd see these pictures of these logs, and they're clearly pipe, right? But what kind of pipe? What size? Where do they come from? I didn't know any of that. So, what you're going to need are four of these 1.5 inch Schedule 90 or Schedule 40 long radius weld L's. These come from Tread, uh, Treadstone Performance. This is a long radius 90 elbow it's three or four stainless it's 1.5 inches i only have three because they tricked me and only sent two when i thought they were going to send um four okay so that's that 1.5 inch long radius 90s okay then up next we have our flange this is an exhaust flange this one is also stainless. I had this laser cut at work. Um, it's 304 stainless also. And I'm going to come back and cut it right through here. So that it can expand and contract at different rates. Um, the factory manifold split right there also. So I think I'm going to go ahead and split it right there. But you can find these on eBay. I'll, I'll link one. Um... There's even, I've been told that they make these flanges that are already made to weld to these weld L's, but they're not stainless steel. Which really, like, this stuff's like an eighth of an inch thick wall. Even if it wasn't stainless, it's going to take forever to rust. Um, next, I got my 2.5 inch. Let me see here if I can get that focus in. This is a two and a half inch long radius 90, schedule 40, 304 stainless, same as the rest. And then this here is schedule 10 because it's for the actual log part of the build. And the way that it'll all go together is the way that I had it laid out at the beginning of the video. So we'll have this, and we'll have that, and we'll have this. Brazil's going to get up here and help us. What's up, Brazil? Then what I'll have is this. We'll go something like that. This will go something like that. This will go like that. And then there will be a 45 right here, which got held up in customs in Quebec for some reason. Um, so there will be a 45 down and a V-band. And then I'll put a smaller piece to space the turbo up away from the valve cover of this up here. And I'll put my O2 sensor for the driver's side bank in that. And I'm going to link all these parts that I'm using down in the description. 
Uh, next time you guys see this, it'll all be tacked together and cut. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, it's a lot easier than I thought, you know, honestly. So, we'll see how it goes. But I'll link all these parts in the description, and you guys can build your own manifolds. And go fast. And clear your AC and have it look nice. And do it for a lot less money than what some of these companies are charging. I mean, make no mistake, this stuff takes a lot of time. Alright, so make no mistake that these companies that are charging, you know, five, six hundred dollars for these. I'm absolutely certain it takes a ton of time to cut a pipe that's that thick down, grind it down, you know, make it look nice, make it fit tight, make the gaps sealed up without a doubt, um, you know, time is money. If I were selling these, I, I would want to be compensated too. So I'm not trying to slight any of these companies or anything like that. Um, if you want a bolt-on solution, they're out there. You can call up KB Racing, Fowler Performance, or Fowler Speed, um, Trick Performance. They all offer these, you know. <clears throat> I think Fowler will do one that's tacked together and the pipes are already coped for you and everything for like 350 bucks. So that's an option. If you're like me, you, you don't have that option. Like that, the, if I just bought every single part that I needed, well then I wouldn't be driving this truck until three years from now. So, you know. I have to make my own stuff, and I want to make my own stuff. I, I find it interesting and challenging, and I like it. So if you guys think that you can't because you're not fabricators and you don't have a bunch of special tools and this and that and the other thing, um, you can MIG weld stainless steel together, and MIG welds just fine. There's special wire you can use for it if you don't want it to rust. I'm going to TIG weld it because I have one at work that I can use. But, uh... I'm just going to use a grinder to cut this stuff, and I mean, it's a $15 grinder I got from Harbor Freight. I'm going to use a bench grinder probably to cope these tubes. I'm not a pipe fitter. I don't even know if I'm saying that word right, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, you get the idea. Oh, I did buy a hole saw to cut into the Schedule 10. I bought a $9 hole saw off of eBay. So... But yeah, you, you guys can do this stuff. You can follow my earlier build. That manifold would have worked out if I wanted to relocate my coils and all that stuff, but I don't. So I'm going to do this, and I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I might offer them for sale or something. Maybe tack them together and uh, sell them ready to go like that. We'll see. But I'm going to get to work. I'm putting the parts list in the description for you guys, so it'll be down below. Um, which are all the parts that I used as of today, which is like February 11th, I think, 2018. Um, so if you're watching this in 2024, I'm sorry, these links are probably no good. You'll have to figure it out. But I hope this helps take some of the mystery out of it. Like I said, I, I spent forever looking for these little pipes, couldn't figure out what they were called. I mean, on and off, I looked for them for months before I could figure out what they were called. So. Thankfully, I finally know, and, and now I can pass that on to you. Like I said, I'm not a pipe fitter, but lo and behold, they already make all the special parts you need to make a, man, a turbo manifold. So, it's really that easy. And uh, over the next few weeks and months, we'll progress and, and build this up, and I'll show you guys how it looks and how it works and how it goes. So, I'm rambling way too much, too much cold medicine. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, also, my cat's getting in the middle of the video here. So, until next time, like, subscribe. It's, uh, I appreciate all the views and everything. I'm always amazed at how many people watch these videos, actually. So, if you have any questions, ask below, and hopefully I can address them in the next video, which will probably be in a couple weeks, um, on this specific subject. So, until next time, this is JR, and Peanut. Peanut. Say hello. He says hello. And we'll see you later.